How to do sales in supermarket software. Here, let's see how to use ZK POS machine to settle the bill in a supermarket. I'm clicking on POS. After that, you can observe that a different type of interface is visible compared to the coffee shop interface. Here, we have designed and implemented another type of interface for supermarket. For example, if the customer approaches the billing counter with product, the cashier scanned the product with a barcode scanner. Here, I scan the product with the help of barcode scanner. You can see that the product scanned is Pepsi. Let us now imagine that the other products selected by the customer are not having the barcode. In that case, click on the Disable Barcode button. From here, you can select the appropriate products that is not having the barcode and process the bill. Then click on the Settle button and process the bill in the normal way. Then click on the Cash button and all the processes are completed. Next, let's come to the menu again. Here you can see that towards bottom of the screen, shortcut code like F1, F2 and F5. If you want to make new invoice, then click on the F1. Click on F2 for return and click on F5 for retrieve. Now. If we check the left side, then you can see different buttons such as Select Customer, Retrieve, Ticket Note, Return, New, Send Orders and Order Priority. Let us see the details of each. Now I am going to select Select Customer. As discussed earlier in Coffee Shop Configuration, there is a provision to add new customer. Customer Details, Customer Mobile Number, and email numbers here. We can also settle the bill by selecting the customer. Now I am going to select a customer. Here I have selected the customer by pressing on the Select Customer button. As told earlier, you can see the customer name is displayed here. Now let's scan the product using barcode scanner. Then process the bill by clicking on the Settle button. After that, enter the appropriate amount and click on Cash and Close button to process the bill. Now, let's see the Retrieve option. Retrieve window will show all the pending transactions where the bill payments are not yet completed. Here, there are two pending transactions from which I am going to select the second one of amount 293. Here, the details of bill are displayed and I am selecting the Settle button. After that, enter the appropriate amount and click on Cash and close button to process the bill. Now let's come back to the retrieve section and we'll observe that only one button is present. That means only those transactions that are not completed will appear in retrieve section. Next, I'm going to process a new bill. I've selected Pepsi here and select the ticket note. In this area, we can enter any additional details related to that particular invoice. This is the use of Ticket Note option. Now let us see how the return option works. Note that the cashier cannot handle this area. Only admin has the access to this section. For example, a product is sold and then returned by the customer. Here we can see how to return the amount to the customer. I am going to enter the password of the admin as 1 here. Then we need to enter the invoice number of the returned item. Here I enter invoice number as 4. After that, a dialog box is displayed asking, Do you want to return all the items in this invoice? Click on the button, Yes, if the customer need to return all the products in this invoice. Otherwise, click on the No option if the customer needs to return a specific product. Here you can see only the respective item button which matches the returned invoice. All other item buttons are not activated, which means that these items were not purchased in that particular invoice. Now, I click on Pepsi and you can see that the quantity is mentioned as minus 1 and total as minus 95. This means that we have to return rupees 95 as the customer had returned the product to us. Now select the amount and click on the cash. As we had returned the money, our accounts will be automatically deducted with the same amount of money. This is the use of the return option. Now let's see how the new option works. 
This will be used to create a new invoice while we process another invoice. Here, let me select the new button. See, now a new bill is created with invoice number 9. Earlier, we were processing another bill with invoice number 8. This is the use of the new option. Now let us see send orders and order priority. For example, some supermarkets may have a kitchen facility. Suppose a customer needs to order a baked cake, then cake can be delivered through the kitchen by giving a print order from the POS machine with the help of send orders and order priority options. This option was discussed earlier in our restaurant version of the POS machine.